I can't believe what was inside this oil filter. I've seen many problems, but nothing quite like this. Today, we'll be showing you Mobile One Extended Performance Oil Filters, also Wix XP, Napa Platinum, and Napa Silver Oil Filters. Go ahead and check out these two base plates. We have the Napa Silver on the right. As you can see, it has rust on the outside of the base plate and the Napa Platinum base plate on the left. We'll flip them around. Look pretty clean on the inside. Both seem to be good construction, high quality steel. Guys, let's not forget this cat filter. I mean, you can already see we're in for a doozy on this one. Now to the right, we have Mobile One and to the left, Wix XP base plate. Even the Wix, one of the greatest quality filters as you can see on the left with rust on the inside of the base plate. You can tell it's definitely a problem today with manufacturing. We need to do something about this. Manufacturers must know. Have you ever worked in a manufacturing facility? You know quality can definitely be a concern. Now, as for all the anti-drain back valves, they're all made of a high quality silicone. Now, you can see the black anti-drain back valves made of a natural rubber. And this Mobile One, well, it's the only one that doesn't use a steel coil spring to support the components inside the filter housing. However, you can see that the Wix XP uses a high quality synthetic media which doesn't filter out the smallest of particles, but it will last for longer engine oil drain intervals. The Mobile One, it doesn't use your typical cellulose, but it does use a cellulose glass mix, which is a little bit better. And it can trap smaller particles. The Mobile One filter can also trap these smaller particles at 99% efficiency at a 25 micron rating which is absolutely incredible. Now, the Wix, on the other hand, as you can see, does compare to the Napa Platinum filter. I mean, they appear to be identical. On the bottom, you'll see that it has the bypass valve, which is for allowing the engine to flow at colder temperatures with the oil. Most people think it's just for oil bypass purposes of a plugged filter, but you shouldn't be having that problem too often or you probably won't have an engine to worry about. Now, as you can see, this cat filter is incredibly bad. Probably one of the worst filters I've ever seen. The title was claimed by Fran for probably the worst quality engine oil filter, but it would appear that cat has now taken the crown from Fran. Guys, if you haven't seen that one, you need to check it out. Because as I said, any quality oil filter manufacturer can have problems. But when you have consistent problems, then there's an issue, a major underlying issue that you need to take care of. Oh wow, guys. I mean, it's just amazing. Look at all this rust. I mean, it's covering the entire oil filter. I'm not really sure the filter media matters at this point, but with the cellulose material being used, it's the lowest quality and it will actually work and get the job done. There's nothing wrong with this filter. I mean, aside from the rust, the quality of its construction, aside from the rust, is actually pretty good. Like I said, not the highest quality media made, but Hey, it gets the job done, and even smaller particles are caught with this media. Guys, if you've had any bad experiences with an oil filter, please tell us all about it. Have you had one explode? The canisters, I typically haven't been checking for the simple fact of I've not really had a lot of problems with any of them exploding on me. Well, maybe you've had a different experience or something else happened. Please share it. I appreciate your kindness. Thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.